some worms. Now centipedes, like toads, feed on worms. Except it's a lot more exciting instead of a toad just lapping up a worm without any ugh, resistance at all. And the worms have been multiplying since I've gotten my toad, since they multiply ridiculously fast. Which is why I, this first day of having a centipede, will go pretty well, yeah. So as you can see, we got some pretty big worms here. I'm, I'm going to get worms that are good enough for the centipede to eat. So let's put that in there. Hopefully, it doesn't escape while we're trying to look for our new pal. And as you can see, more worms. These have been Worms are known to multiply ridiculously, which is why I'm able to find I at least some every few days. Uh, every few days. And since I haven't been big at it, look, there's a centipede. But I'm looking for a more, or it, looking for a bigger one. I have actually seen bigger ones than the one you just saw. And look, that's a spider. Now those are also, centipedes love to do it because they love the thrill of chasing their prey. There's another spider there. Normally I don't go after those since usually I don't want my pets to die, but now make sure you don't get make sure you get prey that's actually size appropriate because centipedes can actually get injured while doing prey because the prey may have defense mechanisms. Now when I had a toad, he was the unruling master of the bug world. World could eat pretty much anything, any kind of insect I, could, I threw at him. Mostly, I fed him worms, which is a good, reliable source because worms, like I said, multiply ridiculously. And in case you want, you might want to catch some insects, so that way the centipede eat doesn't just wander away. Wander away. It's typical keeping me found rocks that haven't been uncovered in most days. They can be hiding in rocks and it's one of their favorite hiding spots, so I'm gonna unearth this rock. Nothing there. But since that rock's out of the way, 
Let's see what's under here. Ah, there we go. We got one. It's under a rock, so it's gonna be difficult to get it. And look, the centipede, well, this one is typically aggressive. So let's leave the rock there. Let's go get our supplies. Let's get ourselves a centipede. Now it's gonna be difficult since the centipede is always crawling around. It's not gonna be easy trying to get it. But I know it's around here in this area. Yeah, a bunch of roly polies there. Roly polies actual name is wood louse, but many people actually prefer to pre re like to pre refer to them as roly polies just for easiness. Now this seems to be a roly poly nest because these guys are everywhere. So um yeah, the worm's gonna get out, out, out eventually. So let's do this quick, and then we'll feed our new, our new pal. Unless he's gone away, which would be sad, but at least we know he's here. There. See that? There's one right there. There, I just, scared, I just scared it, so it should be coming out. Ah. This is why centipedes are relatively tricky to catch. We just lost it, and I am not digging through un under all those rocks to get it. Have to find, we'll have to find another one, or maybe we might find it through another other rock. So in the meantime, let's get this rock back down. And these guys can rest easy because I'm not interested in the in these little roly polies. Because today I'm centipede hunting. Now let's continue looking since the first one got away. Well, probably second one since remember that movement we saw on the log? Another centipede, but not big, not to my preferred size. Oh, look, there's a spider. It would have been a delicious meal. Centipedes like spiders because. They enjoy arachnids, it's one of their favorite foods. They'll eat worms, but they'll eat arachnids more since they like the thrill of a chase, which is what makes centipedes great pets. They don't like to be handled, which is why I'm bringing a cup because they'll probably bite me in self-defense. Centipedes are not afraid to stand up to bigger feelings, but, but centipedes aren't stupid enough to fight someone my size. To, to fight some of my size ratio. With my size, the centipede knows its venom is probably not gonna be very, very effective, but at least enough that I'll probably think about uh, uh, before touching it. So I got this bucket here. Centipedes are not because of their bite, so many people like to use cans, but it's also, also more difficult to do this. Now, you, centipede bites, well, Kind of annoying. They can cause fever, nausea, and depending. That yeah, all centipedes have venom, but some just have one that's about lethal as a bee sting, or sometimes even less. Must have been a cat. Now we got some more of these things. A centipede, but again. Not my preferred size. Size ratio. Let's keep looking. Another worm. We already got one worm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and it looks like the worm has escaped. But luckily, worms don't can't get very far. So, not gonna happen, buddy. Rocks that typically have a lot of dirt are favorite place of centipedes because there's lots of stuff to burrow in. It looks like there's a spider there, so let's leave that guy alone. Spiders don't like to be threatened. See some roly polies, but no centipede. More wood louse. Now again, woodlouse uh, house is the same thing as a roly-poly, so don't get confused if I ever refer to woodlouse. I just likes to refer to things as their scientific name describes. I'm just trying to get out again. Probably realize this is going to be saved for food later, so it's going to escape, or attempt to escape as much as possible. <sighs> Another spider there. Another spider. Now, as you can see, these spiders are not significant size, so pretty wimpy in, well, biting ratios. In the spider's world, well, those spiders probably are going to put a dent in 10 meters. Well, they, well, actually, they will, but probably not think good enough to pierce the skin. Look, birds, at least four of them. Birds like this garden. Now it's like, after spring, it's like March right now, so some, so snakes might be on their way in their centipede. I like my pets to be big enough that I can observe and watch and, well, small centipedes like that. But I prefer size ratio, that means they're a terrible size ratio for me because, well, they can easily get lost. I might not know where it is. I cannot, you cannot, I cannot spot it as easily as other insects. Let's search under this giant hammer of a log. Nothing. Let's put that back. Nothing there. There's worms, but still, no centipede. Oh, there's a grub there. Sometimes I feed those to my frogs, and they're actually big enough to sustain him. Yeah, I have no idea what grubs are, whether they're just baby versions of some bug I don't know about, or whether they're actually full of worms. Tiny centipedes. Small centipedes can actually make a decent a decent meal for other centipedes. Depending if they're big enough or not. And once again this worm is trying to escape. Sorry guy, you're not getting away until I find a centipede. If I don't find one today, then I'll release you because you're probably gonna die if I keep you. Okay, so this is a rock. I see some things like that little snail shell, but no centipede. I might have better luck during nighttime, so I might fast forward this video to find it during. Oh, well, yeah, you know what I mean. No, it's nothing under there. Any more spiders? Nothing to worry about. Except if it's a black widow, I'll definitely be worried about that. Ooh, 
spot something. I just spotted some really fast movement. Oh, and we have something right here. Almost my preferred size ratio, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, and that's my Phil Newt pond. After I realized that this is not the ideal condition is for salamanders and newts. Even if I create a water pool, they're probably not gonna show up, so that's gonna stay there. So, actually, let's search the wood, because sometimes I actually find stuff under this wood. Like, sometimes worms. There's some worms there. Stuff, but not enough. More worms, or no centipede. Spiders, but no centipede. No centipede. No centipede. Just a little millipede there. Millipedes can actually get, uh, centipedes can actually get way bigger. The biggest thing is a giant African millipede, and even that, and even some centipedes can get bigger than that giant African millipede. Which is surprising because, well, normally bugs are like giant. The Emperor Scorpion is absolutely monstrous. A good pet can actually be handled, although not too much, because, like my toad, but unlike my toad, they actually deploy much deadlier weaponry like stings and pinchers. So, let's pop some of these rocks. Not seeing anything so far. So, there's some dirt under here. But, unfortunately, no centipedes. And I might be thinking, why don't I get a spider pet? But like I said, there's also just with size ratio. Plus, it's going to defeat a spider with that size because I probably wouldn't be able to find anything of that, with, uh, find anything of a prey with, of that size magnitude. Probably wouldn't be able to find prey of that size magnitude to feed it. Now, let's try under this log. That was going to be there, but there's a worm. No centipedes here. Okay, another unlucky shot. All right. Ah, there's another log over here. Let's check that. I've never actually checked in these logs for any major things. So actually there might be some decent stuff worth finding under here. As you can see nothing, it's a slug. Slicking, speaking of little long slithery things, how about the worm? Okay, the worm's still there, attempting futilely to escape. Let's try under this piece of wood. Some ants. And often there might be ants in their lawns, you don't see them because they're so tiny. There's a millipede over there. So, we're actually going to try this giant log. Now, I've been lifting some unusually heavy things lately, so I might be able to move this. Just probably if you can see me. Yeah, no way. It's way too heavy for me to lift. Yeah, 
not even moving an inch. I don't have, I don't have enough newtons to put something like that when there's a bunch of degrees under it. So, you might be thinking, should we give up? There's no more places to search. Well, there are plenty of places to search. There are just some places that I'm not willing to go to because, well, it's just extremely difficult to find. I have things like down there and to put your capper bottle down on it. So, yeah, which is why I'm not searching some of the places. And I don't have the strength to move some of these rocks. Look, well, here's a worm. But nothing like centipede is good. No centipedes, just a small tiny millipede. Centipede, some worms there, some tiny thing, I don't know what it, what it is. Yeah, so far this is not going so well. I've only see one centipede and he got away from us. So, let's try this spot again. He's probably returned by now, thinking the danger is past. Nope. Just some really coolies. Just some... Uh, just some wood louse. Centipede still don't, the centipede still doesn't think it's safe to come out yet. All right, I'm gonna do something I usually don't do. I'm gonna move this giant rock. The centipede might have taken refuge here. Who knows, centipedes are real uh, mischievous creatures. There's a lot of coal in here, so lots of possible places for insects to hide. Some rocks are so built into the ground that I simply cannot remove them. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a bunch of roly polies. More roly polies, and there's a spider there, like two spiders. More some of these bigger than average size wood louse because I know I don't see wood louse at this size. But overall, it looks like the centipede has left this area. I'm not seeing him. sorts of stuff on my hands. Yeah, that's the thing about centipede hunting. You can get real dirty. Now sometimes I might not be able to show you what's under a rock simply because I forget to, or that all my other limbs are focused on doing other things that I can't afford to move the phone there because it might this balance the rock and it might fall and it might crush my hand so yeah I'm sure you guys understand this, way, this rock was wedged in good but not good enough nothing there except a few ash pieces and some snail shells I think there'd be a, a lot of stuff there something. Alright, 
What about these boards? I haven't searched all these boards yet, so maybe there could still be some things we're finding. Nope. Nothing in here. Except some really good mining dirt. So, it looks like we're probably going to have to go nighttime at this point. Because there is absolutely nothing here except a few birds around. And look, oh great, I must have forgotten. A worm has gotten away too. So, I'm gonna call it a day for now. And I'll search during nighttime and see if I can find anything. But for now, hold on. For you guys who are watching this video, it might be just a few seconds, but for me, it's gonna be a long few hours. Oh, I'm gonna check under this real quick. Uh, centipedes. But not my size ratio. Ugh. Better try. Also worth a try. All right, so time to say goodbye. Let's go play Minecraft. See ya at nighttime. Bye.